Hi, my name is Anthony Falco, and today we're gonna to be making pizza at home. First thing we're gonna do is uh, make the pizza dough. And we're gonna be doing 900 grams of the uh, high protein flour, or white flour, all purpose flour. So this is my whole wheat, and this is gonna be 100 grams. And even just 10% whole wheat, you'll see it in the dough. Now we're gonna weigh out our wets. 630 grams of water. And now we're gonna be doing our starter. 150 grams. Now a sourdough starter. It's, in my opinion, I just, it has more flavor than just using commercial yeast. When you put it into your water, um, it should float. That's just gonna tell you that it's alive and it's ready to rock and roll and do its thing in the lab in your dough. Now I'm gonna measure out my salt and we are gonna be using 30 grams. Now we're gonna weigh out our oil. Ooh, let's use this container because it kind of looks like olive oil is cute. 20 grams of olive oil. Let's put that down here. I'm going to add the salt or just directly into the flour. I'm gonna mix these two flours and the salt together. And I'm gonna go into my water here and I'm gonna break this up when it dissolved into the water. Okay, so our dry ingredients are combined and then our wet ingredients are combined. And we're gonna start the mixing process. Oh, just one hand. Did you spill? That's okay. It happens to the best of us. Now this is gonna make seven or eight pizzas. I probably should've cut this recipe in half, honestly. But here we are, we're already in the middle of it. And now we're ready to add our olive oil and just get that incorporated. Just fi finished mixing by hand. It's still kind of lumpy and shaggy. That's fine. We're gonna let time do the rest of the work to smooth this dough out. So we're just gonna wrap it with some plastic wrap and it's gonna rest just right here at room temperature for 30 minutes. Okay, it's been 30-ish minutes. Um, so we're gonna wrap our dough. I'm just gonna knead it in the bowl here gently. We're gonna do this just for a couple minutes. We want the dough to really smooth out. Okay, so we finished our second mix and now I'm gonna wrap it again with um, some plastic wrap. We're gonna just let it sit here in the bowl for an hour or two, something like that. Do what it looks like. Play by ear, listen to the dough. That's very important, the dough wanna do. All right, so it's been two hours, two, three hours. Um, what we're gonna do now is divide it up into our balls for making pizza. And I'm gonna chop it up into 200 gram dough balls. Now what we're gonna do is ball all of these up. We got our nice little dough ball. Flour on top. We are gonna just wrap it with some plastic wrap. They're gonna stay at room temperature until they double in size. I'm gonna say that's probably six hours, and then they'll go in the fridge. It needs to rest overnight, and um, and then it's gonna be uh, ready for tomorrow. Tomorrow's gonna be our big pizza day, and we're gonna make the rest of our ingredients and toppings that are gonna go on it. So, see you then. Hi, it's the next day. Now, the doughs are ready. They look beautiful. I'm gonna show you them later, but now we're gonna get ready for our toppings for the pizza. I went to the uh, Union Square Green Market here in New York City, and I got a bunch of lovely green things and so this pizza is just going to be a celebration of springy green things. So uh, spring onion and some broccoli broth. That right, looks really nice. I'm going to get my pot going here. The nice thing about this pot is it's cast iron, enameled cast iron is heavy so it's got a lot of heat that it will hold. We're going full blast here right now. We don't want to overcook this because it is going to go on the pizza. And it's going to cook again. That'll be a beautiful thing to put on top of our pizza. Cool. And now we've got our seared broccoli rabe, which is going to go on our pizza. Now we're going to make some pesto. Let's 
spring. So we're again, the theme of this pizza is just lovely green spring things. Got some pine nuts, We've got spring garlic here instead of regular garlic. We've got some basil, Italian flat leaf parsley from the farmer's market and some arugula from the farmer's market. Some salt and olive oil, that's everything. And we're gonna make like a paste with the uh, pine nuts. All right, once you have a nice paste going, add our spring garlic, Put a little bit of salt in there. All right, now we're gonna start adding our green stuff here. Oh, hey, so 15 minutes later, it smells great. Now I'm gonna fold in the olive oil and some Parmesan Reggiano. There's really no substitute for doing it the right way in a, in a pestle and mortar. The flavor, it's really fantastic. Yeah, mamma mia. All right, let's make some pizza. Let's check on the dough. And the first thing we're gonna do is define the crust. We're gonna do that by using the tips of our fingers. So you can see there's a ring of crust. And in the middle, I've uh, very gently Dimple with my fingertips. And now I'm gonna pick it up, and pass it back and forth a little bit. You don't wanna to toss it in the air as a beginner. I understand you can just do this kind of like turning a steering wheel, letting gravity kind of do most of the work. About the right size. Start with my pesto and I'm just gonna kind of cover the base. I've never made this pizza before. But really, what I did was I just went to the farmer's market and I just picked out things that I liked, that looked nice, that looked like they were in season, and just kind of went with it. So pesto on the base. We're gonna add some cheese. I've got some Willoughby, which is a washed rind cheese similar to Telegio from Vermont. And then I've got some uh, regular, kind of just shredded mozzarella, just pizza cheese mozzarella. Then I've got some, some really beautiful, uh, it's called hand dipped ricotta. It's like a really nice fresh ricotta. I think it's gonna go really well with this pizza. I'm just gonna put some little, some little blobs here and there in between. The broccoli rabe that I sauteed, I then chopped up and I'm just gonna put some uh, pieces all over here. Green stuff. We've got creamy, crunchy. It's pretty nice to me. Looks like spring. And we're gonna pop it in our oven. This pizza should cook in just about like, two minutes. So it's gonna be fast. All right, there we go. There's our green things, pesto pizza. Right, I'm gonna take a bite. This is exciting. Hmm. God, there's a lot going on here, but it's really all super delicious. Thanks for coming into my home, making pizza with me. I hope you make try to make this at home. I hope you can see that you don't even really need too much of a recipe. Kind of use some technique, good equipment, and uh, you can make something really delicious at home. Yeah, this pizza's really good. It's really good. I'm Anthony Falco. Thanks a lot for watching and. Uh, See you soon.